Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to revise the lesson Peacock and the Crane. So we are done this lesson. We are written all the question answers, word meanings, okay? But today we are doing the revision. See, Peacock and the Crane. Uh, peacock is Peacock and the Crane. The both words are uh, words which just are given here. To the right screen and the people. So it's a very small lesson and very, very easy. There was once a very consighted peacock. Consighted means very proud. Peacock is having very proud. He is very arrogant. Okay. There was once a very consighted peacock who had a gorgeous tail like no other bird. He is feeling very proud that he had a very gorgeous tail, like no other bird. So when he met a crane one day, Chabusu, crane se mila, one day he met a crane. The peacock scoffed at the crane's colorless and dull feather. Scoff means laughed at, laughing, scoff. Peacock usne laga, crane ke colorless and dull feathers dekhe. Okay. And immediately spread his own colorful tail for the crane to see and admire. And he immediately spread his colorful crane. That's uh, why he spread? Because the big, uh, crane would uh, see that colorful uh, tail and admire him. Look at my feathers, he boasted. Boasting is badaya, badai karna. Okay, ikke baare mein bhoon naat cha cha. Look at my feathers, he boasted. How they shine in all the colors of the rainbow. How they shine in all the colors of the rainbow. While yours are so pale. pale yours are so pale. I am dressed like king. Okay, say king is dressed. Okay, I am dressed like a king. That's true, the crane answered. That's true, the crane answered. Then you will yes, you are true, that's true. But I can fly above among the clouds of the stars. But Crane is saying, I can fly very high above the uh, clouds and stars. And I can see all the beauty of the earth. And I can see all the beauty of the earth. It's glory. While you live down here, just like any other form. I can see the beauty of the glory of the earth. But you are living in the, uh, on the earth. Like other pop. Fine feathers don't make fine birds. Fine feathers don't make fine birds. Means the same fine feathers. Make fine words is used in a negative sense. Yeah, in negative sense. Kya what my fine feathers? Fine word was the chi word with you. So it is said, said in a negative sense to indicate that looks or fleshy clothes, fashion, looks may not be very important after all. It may be important. Look, it may be important. So it says we will have fine feathers, don't make fine words. Sif look, when you say, Acha dikne se, koi acha nahi ban jana. Okay. So it is, looks is not important. Fashion is not important. Fashion clothes is not important. What is important? It's your inner beauty. Important kya hai? What is important? Important is your inner beauty. Okay, so it's a very uh, short but sweet lesson. Again, I'm reading. Just listen carefully. What are the pronunciations? There was once a very consighted peacock who had a gorgeous tail like no other bird. So when he met a crane one day, the peacock scoffed at the crane's colorless and dull feathers. And immediately spread his own colorful tail for the crane to see and admire. Look at my feathers, he boasted. Now they shine in all the colors 
of the rainbow while you are such so fair i am dressed like a king that's to the great answer but i can fly i go among the clouds and the stars and i can see all the beauty of earth in all its glory while you live down here just like in the top fine feathers don't make fine birds this is the text okay now word meaning we'll see the concited is very proud when the air when arrogant gorgeous means beautiful magnificent and stunning okay that is gorgeous scoffed at laughed at the crane rudely and scornful laughed at rudely and scornful that is the scoff at fine feathers don't make fine birds birds means the same is used in a negative sense to indicate that looks or fashion thoughts may not be very important after all now read following sentence carefully and choose the correct meaning the peacock had a gorgeous tail like no other bird no other bird had a tail first the peacock tail was more beautiful than any other bird and all birds had gorgeous tail the second is correct so tick it the peacock tail was more beautiful than any other birds fine feathers do make fine birds you cannot be used with us to make bird you can just something by its own beauty something that is beautiful may not may really be useful so your answer is fine feathers don't make fine birds so i have to tell you answer the peacock tail was more beautiful than any other birds first and second fine feathers don't make fine birds. something that looks beautiful may not be really useful okay question number 2 is read the story aloud or present it in group of 3 the narrator the peacock and the crane the narrator the peacock and the crane Okay. Imagine you are the crane. Third question is: Imagine you are the crane. What actions, what words of the peacock would you not like? do not read write about in short imagine you are crane tumko samajhna hai ki you are crane what action and words of the peacock would you not like tumko if you are crane which action of the peacock you not like okay write about it in a short i didn't like the way peacock scoffed at my colorless sandal feathers calling it pale and the way he flaunted his colorful tail to make me feel inferior i also did not like the way he boasted about sorry he boasted about his color feathers and the remark that he was dressed like a king i also did not like the way he posted about the his colorless feathers and the remark that he was dressed like a king okay
Imagine you are the queen. What actions and words of the big book do you not like? Write about it in short. So here that this is the story of Peacock and the Free. Listen. Now this question number uh, four. Discuss what a friendly and good nature pickup would say to train. Discuss what a friendly and good nature train said in his speech. Right? This is speech. Hello, dear friend. Train. People call me gorgeous and praise my colorful feathers. What people call me? Gorgeous and praise my colorful feathers. But I understand that it is not our outward appearance which matters. You can move with that. I understand. As I told you, fine feathers don't make fine birds. So flashy clothes, uh, your looks is not uh, very important. What is important? Important is your inner beauty. Okay. So what matters are innate abilities and our inner beauty. I am proud of the fact that you my friend Crane can fly and scale such a great heights and enjoy the beauty of the earth in all its magnificence. Go bird, explore the world. Go bird, explore the world. So this is the example. Sorry, this is the speech of a uh, friendly, good nature to talk to the crane. Okay, so what you have to do? You have to read the story. So, go through. Already meanings are given in your book. So we'll stop here. So go through it, read the lesson, understood? Do it uh, division. If you feel the words are uh, harsh and it is not given, so go and uh, search dictionary. Okay. So read the lesson. Very short lesson there. Because reading practice is very important. Otherwise, your, your pronunciation will be incorrect if you are not doing practice. Okay. So do it. Read daily. Okay. Bye. We'll meet you next week. Okay.